Good morning guys, happy Thursday. Today is a day, um, I just had a, this morning, I just had a, a meeting on video and then of course I was late. I'm looking weird right now because I haven't put on my mascara yet. So I'm gonna take you to the bedroom and I spritz my foundation all over my bed today. I don't even know how to be quite honest, but that's what happened. Yesterday, I went back to using my Dior um, mascara and I realized how much I love that mascara. My goodness. Like, you should have seen my lashes yesterday. It was, it was crazy. So, and then today I'm using the MAC Radiance Primer. It, it gives me like a radiance look because um, my MAC, my nose foundation is super drying so it actually helps quite a bit but yeah I today I'm gonna use bad gal by benefit this is my favorite at the moment I have quite a few favorite uh, mascaras but this is the one that I typically go for yeah I did my makeup in like I was washing because it was like at 10 40 I realized it was going to be like a video call so I had to like jump in the shower take like a five minute shower and then um, try to do my makeup for like 10 minutes and then which I did but I didn't have time for mascara obviously which is now why we're here that's why my makeup looks so well it looked a little weird to me it did at least because I'm used to myself and also I haven't done my eyebrows yet um, I know you guys love to say oh I love your natural eyebrows and stuff like that which I appreciate but I prefer when my eyebrows are like filled in when they're like this I feel like they're not done I realized I really like my makeup yes oh my god you know when you almost poke your eye with the mascara and then you ended up like tight lining your eyes in the process you're like okay i almost poked my eye but now i'm tight lined so and i'm trying to wait for the people to come here to fix the heat oh, i need to put some pads here i need to put baby wipes q-tips and then some napkins so that way when i am doing my makeup if I need to clean something off, I don't have to go to the. Uh, I have to go to the bathroom. I don't know. I don't think I'm liking my makeup today. I don't think I like this. Um, as you can see, obviously my face has a glow. This is from the Radiance Primer. This is what it looks like. It's a peachy color. I don't think I like it with um, with this foundation. Today I'm using both, um, same actually. It's just different colors I mix together, Caracas and Macau. I don't think I like it with the soft matte. I prefer it with the sheer glow. Is that the sheer glow? Yeah, so I prefer the Radiance Primer with the sheer glow. Other than that, typically I use my La Mercy. This is my favorite primer at the moment. My goodness, this primer is on another level. Like it blurs out your imperfection and then it makes your skin so, so nice. And then the other thing that I haven't done was contouring my nose. I did contour my face and I feel like I'm looking shiny. And that's, I, I just think the NARS soft matte doesn't mesh well with, um, with that concealer. I'm sorry, with that primer. So good to know. You know, that's why you know you have to like try things out to make sure my contour is gonna be really, really like strong today. Yeah, I feel like my face is already like oily. So I need to find a lipstick that is on the lighter side, so I can just put like in the in the middle of my lips. Yesterday, I, like, I liked it better when I didn't put the gloss on top. 
I think it gives it that more sexy look. And then a the gloss add like a more fun look. The gloss, I feel like to me, just means like the girl next door. And I don't think I'm the girl next door. I don't give up the girls next door kind of vibe. Like I'm chill, but not like that. You know? It's nice to be the girl next door, but that's not my vibe. Alright, now we're gonna do the brows. Um I'm using the Glossier. I need to get a lighter color from the Glossier. I got the brown, but it looks black. I think maybe because my eyebrows are already, like, you know, done. That's probably why. But I just do this little flicker thing. It gives it, like, an undone kind of look, which I really, really love. But sometimes I do hate it though. I think especially when I'm wearing like red lipstick. When I'm wearing red lipstick, I don't think I like the look of the brows. So I have to be mindful when I'm going to wear red lipstick to not use this for my brows and do and fill it in regular. But the problem is most of the time, I don't know what kind of color lipstick I'm wearing, going to wear until my makeup is done. Well, sometimes I do ahead of time because if I'm going to wear red lipstick, then that determines which kind of eye makeup look that I do because I do my eye makeup first. I I don't understand how people do their their eye makeup last because I'm just like when I'm cleaning up everything. Like, I don't want any fallout or unblended side and things. So, I actually need to do... Okay, I was looking for my Benefit. Benefit is still the GOAT, though, when it comes to, like, setting your eyebrows. My goodness, I was struggling with another product that I was using. And then when I was cleaning the other day, when I was unpacking the other day, and then I found my Benefit, I was like, oh my goodness. Like, this is amazing. Um, I need to get the one with the color, with that number four, I think, or number five. I don't remember which color I am. I always have to go on Sephora and look at my past purchases. <laughs> so I know which color I am. So now I think we are done. Uh, I feel like my eyes are red, I think, because I didn't sleep. I didn't go to bed until like four o'clock in the morning last night. I was up like working and also looking for like furniture and things like that. Next thing you know, it was like four o'clock. Plus, I went to the event. We left a little bit late. Did we? Not really. I think I got here like maybe 11 or midnight. I don't know. I don't remember what time we got here. But, um, but yeah. And then, you know, it took me an hour to take a shower and do my skincare routine. I know to a lot of people, it's a lot but i actually enjoy it i think it's just like part of being you know feminine and just kind of like taking care of you and yourself and i feel like as women we're always doing things for everyone we don't really put a lot of thought or dedicate a lot of time to us so i try to dedicate a lot of time for me i know years ago when i used to work like in the morning i didn't have a morning routine i used to wake up like rushing into work and doing all that jazz and then until like a few years ago like five years ago i stopped all of that and then i just woke up one day and i was just like if i'm going to wake up and go to work for literally almost 10 hours because we're going to work for eight hours really nine because we work for eight we take a lunch break for an hour so technically that's nine plus an hour it takes to get to work plus the hour it takes to get back home so that's about 11 hours i'm like if i'm dedicating 11 hours to somebody else is company and and things like that and i'm like the least i could do is wake up early and give myself an hour so that's when i started doing the whole experiment waking up at four o'clock or five o'clock in the morning and then i'm just like i owe it to myself you know because i wasn't that thing i'm just like who has time to wake up in the morning and do all of that you know 
and then you know just one day i just stopped i just like you know what i can't be giving 11 hours to somebody else throughout the day and then me not waking up early in the morning and giving myself a couple of hours so that time i started experiment i started waking up early i was never like a morning person before you know i turned myself into a morning person i used to wake up you know four o'clock in the morning i pushed myself i did it it just became natural to me now i love being a morning person um so yeah i was waking up at four o'clock five o'clock in the morning i used to get up and then i would make coffee before i used to never have time to make coffee in the morning i used to get up just like rushing to work trying not to be late and then pick up some coffee on the way or drink some coffee when i'm work not even enjoying it and then i used to wake up early now and then i started making my own coffee at home i used to enjoy the process i made sure the night before i washed everything and have everything ready for me on the stove and have the coffee thing ready everything was ready for me you know i started put pouring into me and then my life changed for the better and i'm just like oh my goodness all i had to do was actually you know investing in myself like like i said guys investing in yourself is literally the best investment you will never regret it so i started you know allowing myself i used to allow myself like 30 minutes to jump out of the house running not to get late and then i changed that to close to two hours so i used to wake up in the morning and give myself two hours you know i took my time back um and then i started enjoying life so much more when i started dedicating more time to myself you know i used to wake up and then i created the little beauty routine so i did my little skincare in the morning and then i sat down before i used to never have time to do my makeup i would actually bring my makeup back with me to do it in the office or i was to never do it on the train i'm not that brave i know people do it i'll feel so weird doing my makeup on the train but yeah i used to bring my makeup back at work to do my makeup when i get to work and then or i'll just do like five minutes and just do you know a little thing but yeah but i'm gonna make myself another cup of coffee and i'm getting hungry so i'm like should i eat the rice that my mom bring me or should i eat a chicken sandwich what is it gonna be i'll sip the chicken sandwich for tonight i'll order hey guys i found my couch this is right over here so this is the one that i'm end up getting i absolutely love this one it's just so perfect and i love that detail over here on the side and then it turns out it's going to match like the coffee table which i'm about to show you i wanted to get that other one that i showed you the picture of but thinking about it this would be the most comfortable and like it's going to be perfect for my living room i was considering this one over there but i think i like this one better this one seems more chill and comfy but let me show you the coffee table that i'm thinking and i haven't decided yet on a dining i'm definitely getting this chair next i really love the vibe but this is the coffee table that i think will match perfectly with this like this one i think the legs will match as much as I wanted like a rectangle, turns out I'm more of a round coffee table kind of girl. And I love this kind of like marble. It's different than the one that I had. I think this is the one. But I think I'm going to have to order the swivel chair today so I can get it next month. Because I need a chair so badly. And I think this is it. See so many people sat on it with their clothes. I like it. Alright guys, I am back. I am back. I am back. I am in such good mood. Like, I don't know what happened. It's so funny. Even Sweetie was saying that yesterday. Um, Because we went to the fashion show event together. And then I was just like so happy and so giddy. And then she was just like, what the hell is in your drink? I need to have that. Like, because you're just so happy right now and so giddy i need to find out i think last night was kind of like the first night that was it was the first night was i was out for like an event back in new york city and then it just felt so good being back and being out and then it just like this happiness just kind of like overcome me and then i just like i was so giddy i couldn't help it but also i think i just have this newfound i wouldn't say confidence but kind of like i don't attitude where i'm just like you know what i'm just gonna do whatever i want i mean not like i didn't i haven't been doing whatever i wanted i have 
but now i just feel like it's going to be on another level i need to clean this mirror um i keep forgetting to <laughs> until i actually show you guys something that's when i remember and then i'm just like Ugh, i should probably stop this video get the thing clean it and then start this video again but we don't have time for that because i am headed to target i am going to see what they have and then i will show you what i got from cb2 i got that kind of like body sculpture because actually let me tell you what i'm wearing that's why i came on here boots flattered i cannot believe how much i love these boots my goodness they are just so perfect and then i just feel like such a cool girl with them and then these shorts i got them from jing you would have seen my jing haul they are just like perfection I just wish they had pockets still. It's just, it's unacceptable that they don't have pockets. And then this is that sweater from H&M. It's just too oversized. I'm actually gonna go in stores and look for it and get the extra small. But I'm still gonna keep this though for like every day. But I want the extra small um, so I can wear that one kind of like out. I can dress that one up. But yeah, I am loving this look. It's giving me like, I don't know. It's giving me like Berlin look for some reason this is not giving me too much parisian this is giving me more kind of like berlin um chic i don't even know if that's a thing i don't know do do berlin girls even dress like this i don't even know i don't know why that even came to my head but when i think about this look that's what it's giving me so i'm um, see me is texting me that's all we do every day we just text each other about all the expensive stuff that we want to buy and complaining how fast we need to get rich. <laughs> we do that all day long. And I have some stuff to actually show you guys. I did the unboxing for my stories today. And then when I get back, I will show you guys what they are. I also got a little something something from Hermes. And then... um so yeah, this is my Hermes receipt. This I'm just gonna throw this out. I don't need this actually. Um, yeah, some stuff to show you when I get back. But now let's go to Target because we have some errands to run. And I will see you guys. I've decided to go for a shorter coat instead of a long one because I just feel like why not show the legs? You know, why not? They look longer in person than they do on camera over here. But it is what it is. I may actually wear this look to fashion week. I think it's such a cute look. But I'm going to do, um, I have something the same color. I have some shorts the same color. So maybe I'll make it like a monochrome look where I wear this with the thing. But I have an event tomorrow. But it's a classy event though. It's for Tanya Taylor. So I can't really wear anything. So let me go because I have some work to do. And let's go to Tarje. All right, guys, back from Target. Finally, I can use my space heater. I'm actually going to open it and use it tonight because I do not want to spend another night with the stupid heater going on and making all this noise. And then now, from coming out, now I realize people can actually see me through the window. So this whole time I've been working on naked, shouldn't be doing that, especially at nighttime. So I've been wanting a clothes rack. You know, for when I am filming, it's just going to make things so much easier for me. And um, and the one that I typically get from IKEA, let me take off my boots. But again, I feel so comfy in these boots. I just want to keep them on all, all the time. But as I was saying, the one that I usually get from IKEA, it used to be like nine bucks. Now it's like seventeen dollars, and I'm just like, no. And then. I don't even have an Ikea near me here in the city. The closest one is the one in Brooklyn. No one's trying to go to Brooklyn, honestly. Like, the only time I go to Brooklyn, it's if it's absolutely necessary. Other than that, not going to happen. So, randomly, I'm just looking in the little closet area in Tarje. They have this one from Womb Essentials. Which, Womb Essentials is that line perfect for a college student who's like living in dorms because everything is like affordable and perfect so again it's not white like i wanted it 
too but i'm not really picky i don't really care as long as i can find something that can hold my clothes when i am shooting i am good to go so i am going to try to put this together um i just got like a toilet brush it's nothing special it's just a white one this is from uh, what's the name from cb2 so i got this from cb2 again just like a typical brush toilet brush brush but the thing that i wanted is this piece that they wrapped up really really beautifully for me i'm gonna show you after i think when people do that on youtube they're about to show you something and then they're like oh no 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 wait so I got some basic stuff from Tarte, like nothing fancy or anything like that. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna go because I have to actually do my emails. It's very important tomorrow fashion week starts. So, you know, I have to like get on it and figure out, you know, what I'm gonna be doing. And I just ordered dinner, which is a fried chicken sandwich. I cannot wait for that. So um, I'll come back and show you guys the new perfumes that I've gotten and also the candles okay guys my food just got here it's always so fast when i order from this place and then you already know the routine and i think that's about it um before i start eating i have a tray here of the perfumes From Mizanzir. This is everything. I am missing Treasure. My favorite candle right now from Mizanzir. It's the it's the Jinjam Rose. My goodness. That one smells amazing. Which one is this? It doesn't say. Oh yeah, it does. The Jinjam Rose, I know. This is perfect for your living room. And also, I think this is the I can compare it to the diptych bay you know the diptych bay candle that is like everyone's favorite it's very light i cannot stand that candle because it doesn't smell like anything to me and i don't understand how uh, so people are so many people are obsessed with it this is so much better my goodness this smells amazing i cannot wait to get my coffee table and just burn this for the first time i am so looking forward to that and then my other favorite it's the lila noir and then the jejeun was come in a pink with the pink um thing over here because rose mint pink i really love the attention to detail that's another thing i, I love about me it's like everything is thought of i mean alberto marillas my goodness i would love to meet him one day i have a million and one question for him and it's just ah uh, absolutely love the brand and again i love the attention to detail because rose mint pink and french so it's wrapped into a pink and Lila Noir, it's lilac, I think. And the Noir is black. So because it's lilac, it's wrapped into the lilac-y paper. Like, you know, the purple over here. And it, like I said, everything is thought of. Nothing is left to chance. I love that. This, oh my God. I forgot how amazing that was because all of those have been packed and I haven't really like smelled them in a while guys this is perfect for your bedroom so if you want a candle to kind of like relax at night and just it's very sexy and like smoky oh, i cannot wait to have my bed and my bedside table to actually burn this this is going to be mm, amazing so looking forward to that and to get into the spirit of winter and the apresky culture to make me feel like i am in the swiss alps I'm gonna show you what they sent me. It's like the loveliest gift. Like they are just like so thoughtful. They also, you know, sent some matches to go along. I have a few of these. I hope they send you these when you order candles. And right now they have the um, 
the thing because of valentine's day if you order for like up to 175 not i don't know if it's only at the store i think it may be only at the store so if you're in new york city be sure to stop at the store you get lad rack um chocolate which i have in my fridge that i've been eating amazing under the swiss brand chocolate so it says greetings from the swiss alps and after the holidays are behind us in switzerland it's time to lean into the winter season with après ski culture think day spent on the slope in the fresh alpine air followed by evenings by the fire with mulled wine fondue and moonlit mountain in the spirit of winter season and mizenzio's heritage we wanted to send you a few of our favorite things inspired by the swiss alps in winter time including our um otherwise the Zalp candle which you can see right over here this is going to be amazing this feels like you have the fireplace lit you know you're just like cozying up by the fire and having a good time i love that the scent channels the breath of pure mountain air with the freshness of surrounding greenery brilliant and wild we hope this box adds touch of cozying it to your january and brings the brilliance misses here and the upper ski culture Discover more mise en zere, parfum creation from Master Perfumer Alberto Morales at Aronolita or online boutique. I do have a code for you guys. I don't think I've ever shared it to be quite honest. I always forget to tell you about the code because I always get so excited to talk about mise en zere and it always kind of like escaped me. And I'm gonna leave it in the link below. It also was 15 super simple to take 15 percent off your first order on mizenzio.com if you don't live in new york and you cannot experience everything i wish you could my goodness it's worth taking a trip for going into this first of all the store is just so amazing it's so beautiful i want to move in i wish they would just let me move in it's so pretty but when you get in there you actually experience the fragrances you just like oh i thought i like this one but i like this better it's just everything you smell is better than the next better than the next better than the next my god it's amazing so it's at 26 prince street in new york nolita so if you are in nueva york new york city stop by this is what they sent like how amazing so this is a cast iron fondue set like and it's in the white color this is going to be so perfect i'm actually gonna open this and put it on um, on the counter over here i can do meats i can do cheese i can do chocolate you know you can do fruits and everything like this is so cool this is from swiss mar again it's a swiss brand so everything is swiss 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 i love it i cannot wait to go to switzerland it's so funny at one point i wanted to go to zurich so badly and of course it comes with the swiss fire gel to light it <coughs> of course that would happen i cannot wait to do fondue i think i think i'm gonna do that in my um housewarming party but then again there's only six more week, um, six more weeks of winter i think it's five now so i'm just like i don't even know if i'm gonna have my front my furniture before then they also included the alpine cooking book by meredith erickson recipes and stories from europe's grand mountain tops say no more like this is like perfect like sunny i love this and then the new perfume that i picked up is not this old the was exaltant that's what i picked up the last time i was there for valentine's day it's this one has a powdery i've been looking for like the perfect powdery scent this is i finally found it in was exaltant this is just like beautiful last time i think I, that's what i wanted but last time i was at the store eau de gingembre i am obsessed guys obsessed this is so underrated and i feel like this is the perfume that everyone will like this is for every day this you can wear all year long it's perfect for spring summer but then again i just feel like when you spritz this on and then you mix it with a little bit of luxury my goodness the combination it's a killer one thing to note about mise en zere if it comes in a silver hardware it means it's cooler the scent has cooler tones to it 
if it comes in the gold it's warmer like again the attention to detail and i don't know if you can see the dog in the thing those are alberto's marilla's dogs they're like included into the brand it's part of the brand's identity i really really love that thing luxury is very sexy and very luxurious you can't go wrong treasure is still my favorite but now going back if i had to recommend as your first purchase eau de gingembre would be what i recommend as your first purchase unless you're like me you love more of a unisex and masculine scent then i recommend to share or luxury good morning i just wanted to say i'm telling you my entire life now it's tiktok i talk in tiktok everything i do is revolves around tiktoking but I am going to a preview. What am I doing? I left my bag. And I am in one of my favorite sets. This is probably one of my favorite outfits of all time. It's so funny. I worked with Pearl by Lila Woos on this. When I saw the set, I was just like, print? In blue? There's no way I'm liking this. I was just like, oh no. But I was just like, you know what? Fine. And when the set came, even when the set came, I was just like, eh. It wasn't until I put it on. And I was just like, oh. That's why sometimes it's good to try things out. Because on the hanger or on the website, it may not look like something that will look good on you or you might go for. And then you pop it on, then you're like, oh my god. What was I thinking? I need the set. So here is the set by Pearl by Leila Rose. Like I said, I work with them in a collaboration and um, I got the set. It's been one of my favorite. Every time I have an event, if it's like a classy event during the day, this is a set that I wear. And I feel like this is something that I can wear at night also. Next time, you know what? Next time I go on a nice, like beautiful dinner, I'm going to wear the set. Like I feel it's perfect. I wish I had some brown shoes but i'm just popping on my mac and mac shoes these shoes are just like amazing they go with everything and i feel like it doesn't matter if you're wearing gold accessories they just go you know and then of course i always pair this bag um the set with this brown bag i'm so happy i didn't get rid of this bag to be quite honest like this is one of my favorite purchases ever from stad it just looked like one of those little vases you know that we used to have in haiti where we put the water and everything like that and I'm so happy that I did not sell it when I moved because I was just like, it, like the amount of compliments that I get on this it's not even that it also holds so much and I love how unique it is and this is why I love Stad so much because they make such like unique bags um, I, yeah Stad is one of my favorite designers um, over the last couple of years although over the last year they haven't really made anything that I'm into but the old stuff used to be amazing but yeah, um, I'm going to call my Uber now, and then we are going to go. I think it's really warm. I don't even think I need a coat, to be quite honest. So let me figure out the coat situation. I may not wear a coat, but then again, it's still New York City. This weather is like traitor, so you can never kind of like count on it. You should always bring a jacket just in case. Maybe I'll just bring my lighter jacket. But um, yeah, I'm going to go. Um, I'm going to drink a little bit of water because I am starving. And then I'll get something to eat when I am downtown. This collection starts over here. I love this sweater. And this dress is stunning. All the feathers. I think my favorite piece is the skirt. It's just so beautiful with all the crystals. And then, look at this coat. It's like a stick of butter, but chic. <laughs> so good. Oh, that is beautiful. Like, the color. Like chunky cream sweater. I love that. And then, my big fan. Guys, I love this color palette. This yellow is everything. Love it. You're fine. I don't think I follow this girl on TikTok with the blue coat. Um, I think she's Mexican. 
love, love the pieces. This color palette. I really love this yellow dress. And this is a little sneak peek of the video. Love the color story over here. It's so all around. I love that white dress. It's so pretty. We had this one draped over her shoulders, and it just like. Oh, I see that. So pretty. So fun. Yeah. Yeah, I love this dress so much. It's giving me all the Audrey Hepburn vibe. It's something that she would wear something that I would wear and of course I cannot get over this coat that stick of butter love 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 it all right guys I am done at the preview for Tanya Taylor it was so nice I think this is my favorite collection from Tanya because typically everything is just like so colorful I have a couple of dresses by her yeah, typically everything is just like very colorful, like big prints and everything. Although this one had prints as well, but it's not as... Don't let this weather fool you. It's cold. Like it says it's 55, but then again, it's really, really warm. So now I am... I need to go to Cars um, to check some pins out, but I can't decide if I should go to... Uh, by Bryant Park or if I should go to Soho so I thought why not just go to Soho instead because I'm already at Union Square so it's just like one stop and now we're in Soho and then also I can just eat down there um, because by Bryant Park there aren't a lot of options to be quite honest the options are like super limited so I thought I would just come here. Now I wish I had worn <laughs> a heavier coat because I played myself like big time. I'm taking the subway because calling an Uber right now, so much traffic, we just do not have the time. just ate for movies every time I'm in Soho I have to stop here because the food here is banging my goodness everything and I've been obsessed with the um, fried chicken burger I used to get the pasta all the time when I was a pescatarian now that I eat meat again I kind of like you know eating all the stuff that I haven't been eating over the last seven yeah seven years so yeah, so now I'm deciding if I should do a little bit of shopping or if I should just go home. They have a beauty counter store here. If you guys are in the mood for some vitamin C, they have more than vitamin C, but the vitamin C is my favorite. Well, one of my fave. The one from, from Pixie is my favorite. So now, like I said, I'm deciding if I am going to do a little bit of shopping. I don't know, I haven't really been inspired to just like, you know, buy anything. I'm just, hmm, I feel weird about it. So yeah, I am going to see. Maybe I should go to Aritzia, but I honestly do not want to buy anything from Aritzia. Like I said, it's overpriced. And then my train is like right here, and I'm just like, should I just get on the train and then just go home? Because the way Uber is set up right now, they're asking like $50 to go to my house from Soho. I'm just like, too hard. It's not happening. Like, absolutely not. Okay, guys, I am back home now. Soho, I took the train actually. That's one thing I love about going to Soho is that the train is always there. So um, I would feel terrible taking um, like an Uber, especially when the train, like the train that come to my house is like right there. Like it doesn't make sense. So, and then it was $50 for an Uber. And I was just like, mm, there's no way I'm paying that. So, and then I thought, you know what, when I get off the train, 
I'll just take an Uber because it's like an eight minute walk. I, that's nothing. An eight minute walk is nothing to a New Yorker. It's just like an eight minute walk is like two minutes for us. Um, and then when I got out, I was just like, oh, it's the light out. Let me just walk. That's how you know spring is coming really soon. And of course, I did go to Aritzia. I knew I should not have gone in there. But I wanted to get the bodysuit in the nudie color or camel color. It's the same thing. This is still the Babbitton line. And I got a size small. It's the contour. This is a toasty color. Um, as you can see, it's like the perfect camel to kind of like go under my camel blazers. I have it in the white. And I feel like the next one would probably be a black one because I'm slowly incorporating a little bit more black into my wardrobe. So far it's going good. But I don't know, the way Fashion Week is looking, it's looking a little eh. Um, but then again, I did not go to Spring Studios, although I was like right around the corner. Um, I didn't go because I'm just like, mm, I don't have time. But it seems a little bit like, you know, everyone is just like chilling, not really worrying about jumping from show to show. And then even looking at the schedule, I don't know, I didn't really see any of the designers. Well, I guess most of the cool designers are uh, Parisian anyways, so. But um, I saw Jonathan Simkai, though. I think Jonathan Simkai is on Monday. I love Jonathan Simkai, like his designs are amazing. Um, and then of course, Tanya Taylor didn't do a show this year. I did just decided to do like a preview which is amazing i love a preview because you actually get to be intimate with the clothing you get to touch them you get to look at them as long as you want to you have to get like a feel for them rather than a fashion show where it's only like two seconds and then it's over so that was pretty cool and then poems are cooler a lot of the brands that are pretty cool but it's not necessarily like stuff that i kind of like would wear although poems has really really cool things but i'm gonna get undressed now because i feel like i am out of breath and then I need to I need to get back to walking in heels because my goodness I think I forgot how to walk in heels this is just like crazy to me um even like my heels been hurting a lot because naturally I have like a high arch and that's why it's so easy for me to just wear heels all the time like I think over the last decade when I was living in New York City and working in an office I don't think I've even worn flats at all. Like I could probably count like in the eight years that I worked at that place, I probably wore flats, I don't know, for like an amount of days or something like that. I used to be in heels literally all the time. And I used to work from, from work to, to my house, to the train station and everything in between. Uh, but I used to always have a pair of flats though, just in case if I need to like run quickly but uh, most of the time I could walk from my job to the place because I feel like the flats would ruin my outfit like it didn't go but now I've kind of like lost that and then because I've been doing my work standing a lot because I don't have a chair yet I do find myself like resting a lot of my weight on my heel and then um it was giving me some trouble but I'm going to unwind now not really unwind i'm just gonna take my clothes off and then i'm gonna do a little bit of work and then uh, i will catch you guys later i don't know yet if i'm going to order dinner because i just had food well you know what it's early i'm probably gonna be hungry later um and i need to order something to eat ciao bacalao. And last night i was up at like midnight frying plantains i know i uh, i know that was ridiculous but because I had eaten so early and then I thought I wasn't gonna eat anything else and then at like midnight hunger strike and then I woke up doing a bunch of nonsense things but yeah but she was telling me there's no reason to spend all that money on an apartment when you may even move and I'm just yeah my chaotic ass like I should probably not spend that much money especially if I move next year every apartment is different you cannot always put the same furniture in the same places. So that's another thing too. And it's just like, you can find dupes. She said she went to RH, look at what she wanted, and then she went and find the dupes for it. And I was just like, mm, okay, that's brilliant. Uh, because me, I'm like stuck on CB2, want to have, you know, my whole apartment looks like a catalog. 
but um it's just like there's a reason to spend all this money and then i was just like you know what after that talk i was just like you know what there is no reason to spend that much money but like for what it's like i just need my space to be cozy but then again i'm just like i, I want certain pieces though like i want it so and it's just like go an article or something there's really this cute caption article that i really really love and that stuff is like maybe a thousand or nine hundred and it's like ready to ship to i don't have to wait for it until may june and things like that so i've kind of like changed my stance since then that's why i ordered this chair even though it's not the chair that i want at all um so i was just like you know what let me just order this chair because i can actually use it in the bedroom when i find the one that i like um which i'm going to order i think i may place the order tonight i'm not sure yet so I'm deciding if I should just get a bed. I found one on Target. It's just a regular white bed. Um, but I wanted something with the vertical tuft. But it's just going to take too long if I order that on West Elm. So I'm going to check West Elm once more. And then, um, yeah. So guys, let me know. Should I go for the pieces that I really want? Should I really splurge on them? Or, you know, because by the time the space gets furnished, I won't even have a chance to even enjoy it for that long so or should i just get you know some dupes and then keep it moving let me know but let's open this chair so i got the gabriola boucle chair in ivory again my thinking is just have this chair for now and then um And then put it in the bedroom when I get the ones for the living room. The ones, the ones that I want for the living room, they're just like the regular swivel one. And I found them at this place for like $4.99. You can actually buy a pair for like $900, which is pretty good. Okay, guys, do you want to see me struggle? And putting this chair together, here we are. So these are the legs. As you can see this is the color that i was talking about i didn't want any chairs with legs i wanted the chair to be in a swivel but like i said this one will be great for for the bedroom okay i thought it was this easy i guess not is it missing something else i thought all i had to do oh okay never mind Always leave it up to me to always miss the instruction because I absolutely hate instruction. And it looks big too. You guys gonna help me put this together? Okay guys, let's welcome my new chair. Let me give you a little bit of a tour. This is the article Gabriola chair. And this whole time when I ordered it, I hated it, honestly. I did not like it. Until the chair gets here, I am obsessed. Like, this is so cute. Guys, look at this thing. It's so cozy. I'm in my granny. Um nightgowns you know i love a nightgown this is supposed to be the robe that was over the sleeveless nightgown but you can also use it as a nightgown itself so i typically just sleep with it because it has sleeves the other one um the sleeveless one i just use it in the summertime because i tend to like sweat a lot and that helps me a lot um in the summertime but this is from Eileen West, by the way. But yeah, Gabriola, she's a cutie. Again, I'm I'm already thinking mm, maybe this could stay in the living room. But I want my living room to just be more like chic, cause this feel a little bit more. Even though originally I thought this was going to be a little bit more casual, but I feel like it's looking a little bit more dressy. I don't know how to to describe it in terms of kind of like interior decor you know something casual and then compared to something that's a little bit more this feels a little bit dressy to me because of the legs whenever a chest has legs it gives it it either it goes dressy or casual 
I know. I need to find the perfect terms for, for that. Um, but the swivel gives you that kind of like cool girl aesthetic that I'm looking for. Because this year I decided I'm going to be a cool girl. I'm obsessed. I'm going to go on auto now. Let me get my laptop. Sorry, my, my legs are so dry. Please ignore. Sorry, I have my buttons kind of like all over the place. 